You cut it really fine because um, then the carrot cooks very, very quickly. Um, so it doesn't take long to cook out. All food has Vegemite or you can get Amazon for Texas food. Oh right, okay. So yeah, you can get it imported. It's not um, totally bleak or can get hold of it. Morning, man. I know you just come in the channel. Have you just woken up, darling? I'm still going, yes. I haven't, I'm not, I'm not nowhere near finished yet today. I'm going for an extra long stream. <laughs> um, I'll show you my first dish now once I get around to it. Just bear me one second. I'm starting on my second dish now. So, how are you doing this morning, darling? I hope you're doing good. Little sleepy head. You just woken up, eh? So, I'm just dicing these carrots up. And then we're going to add it to the lamb. The lamb, I just want it to stew down. I want to cook and cook and cook so we get a nice, intense supply of flavour from it. So, just dice these right up. Beautiful. Just give it a nice stir. Oh my god, that lamb. Oh my god, that smells good. That smells damn good. I love. Love, love, love so much. Lamb is definitely probably one of my favourite meats. Um, it's probably the mo not the most leanest of meats to have though, I'm not going to lie. Um, it is, can tend to be a little bit fatty, but depending on what uh, cut of meat you have off lamb. But it is damn right delicious. Yeah, just woke up, slept well, I needed that extra sleep. Yeah, you did, Bab, you worked too hard, darling, so. Uh, morning, glad I can still catch the second dish. I know, right, I'll show you the first dish now. And anyone else who um, is joined in, because I know there's a few people um, who just only joined the chat. So that's the um, feta meatballs we made uh, with What was it? Feta meatballs with, um, God, I can't remember what I put in there now. Um, onions, garlic, um, hope you're making notes, Atomic. Onions, garlic, um, we put some thyme in there, put some salt, some pepper. Uh, we basically put the feta in there, some egg, and some, uh, uh, just a handful of spelt flour or wholemeal flour. Uh, we made wholemeal pasta, which was 100 grams of wholemeal flour. Um, half a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil, pinch of salt, and um, one egg. We bound that together until it was nice and soft, pressed it in the fridge, rolled it out really thin, uh, cut the uh, into shapes re required. Uh, we also had, um, good God, we had uh, a pan of boiling water just to cook off the pasta. T took about two minutes to cook off. Uh, I'm going to turn this down a little bit, it's getting a bit uh, larry over here guys. Um, so yeah, we put that in there. I blanched it off for about 2-3 minutes and that was done. Uh, we did the ratatouille, so we made uh, the tomato ketchup which is on the side. So we had um, roasted tomatoes in the vine in the oven. Uh, and then in the pan we had some garlic, onions, um, had a bit of thyme. What else did we have in there? We had a can of chopped tomatoes, we cooked that down, added two tablespoons of vinegar, any kind of vinegar, whatever you've got. I've got just uh, distilled clear vinegar, whatever you've got really, it's got, as long as it's got no sugar in there. Um, oh god, that lamb smells good. Um, and then we cooked that down until it was quite dry, we added a little bit of water beforehand, cooked it down for about an hour. We blitzed it up into a nice puree, we passed it through a sieve, 
to get the pulp and the, the seeds out. Um, came out with some beautiful sauce. We kept half of the ratatouille and then half in the squeezy bowl. Um, so the ratatouille, we had peppers, red onions, or white onions, sorry, whichever. I think it was red we used, yeah. Um, garlic, uh, courgettes, aubergines. Uh, if the courgettes are called zucchinis and the aubergines called eggplant, sorry, I'm getting very confused at the moment. Uh, we cooked them down to a fine dice and we added some of the tomato sauce. Ratatouille done. Very easy. Uh, very small, tiny little, um, what's it called? Roasted off some uh, baby baby peppers uh, in the oven. A bit of garlic on the tray, a bit of salt. So yeah, absolutely delicious. And then for the uh, basil yogurt, it literally was basil with a little bit of water. We blended it up until it was a nice emulsion. Um, and then we poured it, passed it through a sieve so it caught all the little bits so it wouldn't get into the yogurt. And then we just poured, um, mixed the yogurt, uh, the yogurt with the, some of the water bit by bit. Um, because it's Greek yogurt, it's very thick, so we added it to kind of dilute it down, but not too much. But you can do what you want, guys. You can have it as sloppy as you want. Or, you know, it's entirely up to you. So um, yeah, we did that. And spring onions on top for garnish, and that was it, really, guys. You know, uh, we did little tiny little pasta cones, filled tomato, some of the basil yogurt on it. You know, had a little bit of play around with it, so it was good. <laughs> Beautiful. Hello everyone. Looks yummy. Thank you, babe. Appreciate it. No problem. I'll uh, get you that recipe sorted, Atomic. No problem. If you can't remember doing this now, um, I will probably type it up later. Or I will get it with you within the week. Let's put it that way. Um, I'll, I will get it you sorted in some shape or form, and I'll sort that out for you, my friend. <clears throat> looks so top shelf thank you wise rooster appreciate it uh, guys i appreciate the comments thank you so much it's uh, lovely to hear that um i'm pretty well thanks overslept so it's a bit headache though yeah everyone's a bit sleepy or there's quite a few people not very well today um i know a few people came in and they were just saying oh i'm not feeling very well and i was just like oh yeah uh, man i had to uh did I say to you last night that they had a notification on my account saying I had to fill in a tax form? Well, I found out this morning they sent me an email halfway through the stream. That I needed to fill in another tax form, exactly the same thing, just for the bits and the cheers or whatever you want to call it for my my um what do you call it for my partnership. So uh, I filled my tax form in while I was on stream. So I decided why not? This is probably why I'm lagging behind a little bit today but I don't care we're here as long as it takes you know so um, it's done now so they're happy then they're, 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 you know it'll they'll activate it when it's ready so all the paperwork is finally done there's so much confusion with it I wish they'd say you need to fill in the tax forms twice maybe they did but they did not I didn't see it and it did, was not very clear at all to me so um, I know for a fact Muzzer would tell me they didn't have to do that before so it's all done now, anyway, so. Happy days. So we've got the ginger in there, got a garam masala. Yep, that's in there, that's in there. What was I gonna put some of that in there? I'll put a bit of coriander in there once it cooks down some peas and a little bit of lemon as well, so. I'm gonna let this stew down. I want this stewing down until it's nice. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to it now. Absolutely yum yum. This is gonna be good. Oof. The smell of this is fantastic, not even right. Oh my god. That is so good. I should be Indian. I swear to God, I should be Indian. <laughs> that is so good. Oh wow, that is really, really good. Oh yeah, just a warning in the future, you'll get a notification for those tax forms all the time. I'm sure Squall told you. No, he didn't. Go nick his Jaffa Cakes if you bought any. <laughs> That's cool. That's not a problem. Um, 
Thank you for letting me know, Kara. I'm guessing every time that comes up, then you have to fill them in and just say, basically, it's just saying, you're just signing a contract, basically, and saying, yes. I have agreed to use my tax code, blah, 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 whichever it is. Hey, it's Russian roulette time. Let's see if the avocado is dodgy or not. I hate doing this. Is the avocado okay or not? Is it bad? We will see. It's a little bit bad as well. Let's see if we can save it. I hate these avocados. Look at the size of the nut. Seriously. There's like no flesh on that whatsoever. So terrible. I might just ditch avocados altogether out of my recipes because they're just a pain in the backside. Not too bad. A little bit discoloured, but I might be able to use a little bit out of it. Which is fine. Oh, there we go. I only want a little bit anyway. It's for um, basically for the salsa, guys. So, guys, if you're doing that, please don't do what I did. <laughs> I'm such bad practice, honestly. Um, just um, kind of take it out in an alternative way. I'm just trying to save on the uh, flesh. But I'm going to hear it one of these days, and I'm going to chef, we watched you do an avocado, and now I'm in hospital. Why? What did you do? I went and missed the nut and got my hand. Oh, God's sake. Literally face pump. Yeah, the rest of it's okay. So, it's not too bad. Thank God for that. It's a little bit bad, but, you know, it's not too bad. A little bit bad, but not too bad. So, I'll dice that up in a bit. I hate it. Avocados sometimes are just ridiculously annoying. And they're really expensive as well. You're trying to sell me expensive avocados, and you're giving me absolute douchebags to give me nothing for it. It's really frustrating sometimes. But hey-ho, never mind, we got enough avocado for today. I came here for the balls. Hey Bowman, how are you doing? What did you want to see? The uh, the feta balls. I, want, I might employ somebody just to stand here all day and just go like that. So, um, that's the dish we made this morning, my friend. Um, it's the uh, feta meatballs. Very tasty. Uh, with fresh pasta on there, ratatouille, tomato ketchup or tomato sauce. Uh, we also got a basil yogurt on there. Uh, sweet roasted peppers. What else have we got on there, guys? Spring onions. And fresh wholemeal pasta. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Vampish Doll. Sorry, I forgot to say thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel, Vampish Doll. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the follow, and welcome to the channel, guys. Welcome, to Vampish Doll. I forgot to say it about six minutes ago. Whoops, or more like seven minutes ago. I don't know which one, but I'm really sorry if you are still here. So I really do appreciate it. I'm not here. You have to feed me. <laughs> oh, there are some good-looking balls. <laughs> Dibs on the food showing job. Oh god, you guys are funny. Funny stuff. I'm not gonna lie. The meatballs are tasty as well. So good. Right, so. This might get a little bit mushy because it's a little bit soft as well. It's not actually that old, this avocado. It's, I don't, don't get it. I really don't. It frustrates me. They don't last two seconds when you buy them. If I ever make anything avocado, I'm going to have to make it all on Thursday because they just don't last two seconds. And if I buy a hard one... I bought a hard one last time and it was rotten. I just literally have rotten luck. Fairy Wings, how are you doing? Thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing, my friend? Have you just woken up yourself? Everyone's all waking up in America now. Uh, Bang Bang might not know English, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's English, unfortunately, here, my friend. If you can't understand us, I'm really sorry, but I'm guessing he's loving my food, so 
Thank you, thank you, Bang Bang. Appreciate your uh, support. If it is something nice he's saying, I don't know if anyone can translate. Been working since 8am. Oh, wow. Are you still moving bots?